And I'm here with my new friend, Laura, from Aspen Psychedelic. Laura, tell us about your event. Tell us what's happening, uh, how to ask, access tickets, and you know, just run through the whole event and, and tell us about your nonprofit as well. Sure, I'd be happy to give a short rundown for you and everybody else. So I'm Laura Betty. I'm a co-founder of the Aspen Psychedelic Resource Center. We are a nonprofit that serves the Roaring Fork Valley and accessing vetted information on education and harm reduction in the emerging field of psychedelics. So you can find us at aspenpsychedelic.org to see our events and resources. So this is our second year putting on the Aspen Psychedelic Symposium at the Wheeler Opera House. Uh, we organize it with Aspen Public Radio as well as another nonprofit healing advocacy fund. And this year, we're doubling the scale of the event. It'll be two days, Friday, Saturday, on May 31st and June 1st. And I'm really excited. We're, we're showcasing some of the absolute best and brightest minds shaping the psychedelic landscape today. We'll be featuring multiple expert panels of doctors, scientists, and luminaries that'll really help us navigate the groundbreaking research in psychedelics, as well as take us through firsthand insights and the science tradition and advocacy behind psychedelic medicines that are being legalized and regulated in our state of Colorado. Dirty samples. Excuse me? Every <laughs> okay, so, so talk, let's talk about the, the legalization because I think that there's a lot of misinformation. So what, I know a bill was passed. Can we talk a little bit about that? Yeah, the, the Natural Medicine Health Act was passed in Colorado and we're going through the regulatory process. So actually the last panel on Saturday will really go into the depths of, of what this looks like to help clarify for everyone. So right now, it is decriminalized and legalized to gift, gather, and grow specific medicines. So it's not all of them. LSD, MDMA, they're included, but things like psilocybin, ibogaine, DMT, and, and select other medicines are. And I, and, I, and I know also it's been a great um, source for anxiety. I mean, I, I, just, I just know friends that um, have been doing microdose and and it's really been helping to calm their anxiety. And is, is there gonna be any talk about that during the festival? Yeah, absolutely. So we're, again, we're going through firsthand insights to really talk about not just the mental health aspects, but also the physical health, right. such as how they can help with things like anorexia mm. and paralysis, right. and the whole gamut. So we're going right. into the neuropharmacology um, as, as well as the mental health aspects. And, and not only the promise of these medicines, but also the importance of the integration mm. process. So this is really starting to undo do the Western medical model of mm. put a band-aid on it and mask the symptoms, which can be incredible. Like right. we want it, we want to mask symptoms right. sometimes. But this is really the key to teaching the body out of mental and physical. Right. I love it. I support it. Um, and how do people get tickets? Where do they? Uh, uh, is there is there a website? Yeah. What, where should where should what websites should they visit? Yeah, absolutely. So you can find tickets at aspenshowtix.com and if you want to go to the full event just make sure you're putting the Friday and Saturday ticket into your shopping cart so okay. one day is sixty dollars two days is a hundred dollars that discount will unlock when both of those tickets are in the shopping cart and everything is at the Wheeler Opera House everything's at the Wheeler Opera House and you can find more information at aspenpsychedelic.org under events that's fantastic well thank you so much